Before I start this video, I would like to announce I have a Patreon page where you can get some awesome rewards, so I'd recommend checking it out. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It is me, Mamza, again. Did something which I did not so long ago, about a year ago, which was a Black Friday haul. And um, this is very special, but it's not actually that special. I will say, this year has not been going as good as I hope because, yeah, there weren't as good deals compared to last year. Uh, so if I do complain a lot, then you know why. So I'm thinking we're going to go in right into it considering I've, I this is today when I'm filming. It is Saturday. So I was shopping yesterday. The reason I didn't post this or even record this yesterday is because... I was completely dead yesterday after I came home. I've been walking so much and it just really took a turn about me. So I'm gonna start unpacking and show you guys what I bought, what why I bought it, and like a bit like what I intend to use it with. So I will say I did buy a lot of things. Uh majority of the things I already had knew I was gonna buy them, so let's get into it the first item is a pair of socks from h&m and just so you know most of the stuff are from h&m which i'm going to be talking about today um and I'll, i also have a grand reveal from something else but that will come into later um so majority of things will be from h&m i did buy from some other shops but they're still on their way so first i bought some socks not really much to say about them you know, I don't really know if I want them, so yeah, I, I kind of bought these out of a stress. Um, I will be talking a bit about what, like, happened yesterday. So basically, yesterday I waited for a friend to go Black Friday shopping, and he finished at four. So therefore, we only had four hours of shopping, and that was very stressful because he lives on the other side of town. It took roughly half an hour to get to the to the shopping mall. It was no, it was just very stressful yesterday and it was so unnecessary. So another thing which I bought, which was oh, I already tried these on in the shop, so give me a second. So I bought some normal stretch jeans, as you can see. They seem pretty good, pretty nice, I will say that. Um, but I will not be trying on everything, but I will be trying on the most, most of the- And because not everything I bought was clothes, by the way. Let's just remember that. So those were- the reason I bought them was I needed some new jeans. Um, I also bought a new cut type, so it was stretch. I don't usually buy those kinds. But I was- I tried them, I was pretty satisfied. And yeah. And if we go to the next item- Oh, this is one of my favorite items, I would say. One of my favorite items is this. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my god. Alright, so this is basically a... Not really a crop top, almost a crop top. But it's like... It's a jumpsuit type. I get like a jumpsuit vibe. And there was a few reasons why I bought them. One, my friend really liked it and I did too when I saw this. It was really cute. It had the red stripes and stuff. Let me just put it on first and I'll tell you how... I'll, t I'll, I'll show you what I mean. This top is really cute. Especially for Instagram pictures, I would have to say. It's pretty short, but it's... I was thinking when I bought this, I was like, it's so comfortable. I could easily sleep with this. So that was the main reason I bought them. The next item is this. It is a belt. A red one. Um, the reason I bought this crop top, or well not crop top, but like this polo shirt is because it was both a bit red, but it reminded me of James Charles, so I was like, why not? And then it was good for Instagram and very comfortable, so it's just a win-win. And when I bought this, I was thinking, okay, this looks kind of like Gucci, not really, but... You get the jizz. And I was needing a new belt, so I thought, why not? Because, hello, it would be perfect to these. So, I tried this on first to see if it looks good. It looks pretty good. Um, not really sure on jeans. I only tested the size, so it does like how it looks like on screen. So, you can see how it looks like. And I was pretty satisfied with that. I needed a new belt, so I was like, why not? And the next thing... Ooh. I bought this just like a, an orange shirt. I just thought it was cute. And lately I've been needing a new packs of small shirts because because a lot of my shirts was when I was a straight male 
when I bought oversized shirts, which were M, and personally, I don't like M shirts unless I'm wearing them at home. I don't find them particularly attractive. So right now, I either wear like S or XS. I don't really like jumpsuits, but for some reason, this looked good. Oh, this was also in one of those. It's like shit, though. I don't know. I'm thinking about, you know, I could return one of the shirts, so I kind of only bought them because they were the right size. But as for the attractiveness, don't ask me. All right. So these were two things I was very pumped on buying. More nails. So I already have these. But the nails, which I have, I'm not even joking. I have literally... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. I have nine nails. You know how pissed I got over that? Literally, I have nine nails, so I have to buy new ones to fit the collection. Plus, I had colored on them. So when you remove the color, the like the 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 quality goes down. So you like you 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 see like the scrape. It starts to scrape. So that's why I bought some new nails i don't know if i want to put them on right now because i'm too lazy oh yeah here's a cola which i forgot to drink the other day which i bought in the morning um this was not actually from h&m this was from olens and it was just another setting spray because i needed one. Oh my god this is one of those things which i already always wanted i need to cut them i need a scissors glasses look like i've always wanted these glasses which look like this but because I, there's this guy who really likes me who likes glasses. I didn't really buy it just for him, but I've always wanted glasses, so I thought, why not? Alright, the tag looks pretty bad. Alright, the I'm just going to be honest. This suit does not match with the glasses, but feeling for it. really am. I mean, personally, I'm happy I don't need to wear glasses because... I feel like that would be really disturbing, especially when you have to, like, do things which involve you having your face completely, like, removed. Like, for example, swimming. Like, you would have to use lenses. I just feel like it's such a struggle. So I'm happy that I don't need to have glasses. If I say so myself. Is there anything else? Wait, hold on. Oh, there's only one thing left, and that's one of those things which I was actually really excited for. And this is... He's so fan- oh, no bitch. He's so fancy. So this is some Ariana Grande par perfume. Costed roughly $40. That was after the 20% off. So, yeah. I really wanted her perfume because it looks really good and fresh, so. Oh my god. It's literally so small. I wanted the big one. For this small crap. When it literally showed the big one and the- Wait, okay, this is just a decoration. I, I actually tried pushing this. So I'm not really satisfied with this. I kind of wanted the more bigger one. But I will say the smell is good. Anyway, so now we're going to go on to some other stuff. That was everything I bought from H&M. Anyways, so yes. That's what I bought. I bought a oh there we go for roughly fifty dollars so pretty fresh and good and it was fifty dollars and it was this that was the original price so yeah so i'm not really gonna show too much of the mixer because i feel like that's probably not so interesting this is the mixer in yeah, I kind of had a bad experience with these people. I actually, when I was going to buy this mixer, I actually bought it today. Because I ordered it yesterday. And they were like, they let us stand in the queue for 15 minutes. Just so that they can ask. And then they were helping others. Because the online queue was different towards the people who bought in the shop. So they were helping them before us. And we were standing in a separate queue. And they completely forgot us, which was so disrespectful. Until we actually mentioned them. And then... The worst part of it all, it was a Swedish man who told me before, like, when I was starting to, when I came there, I was like, oh, you need to wait in the longer queue, because that's where everyone else is doing. It's like, shut up, you don't know anything, and you need to go back to your lane, because you have nothing to do with this. So that's basically what's included. 
Not really anything interesting. But we're gonna go to the grand reveal now. I have been kind of dying to get. This is something I've been dying to get for a while. And once I unbox this, if you give me a moment. Um, the thing which I didn't like about this is it looked like it had already been opened, which I really do not live for. Oh, that's how you do that. Crash. Oh. So it's from Zalando. Really good and fresh bag. That's what I got. Guys, this is literally what I got. So happy that I was able to get this. Now, my problem with this is I'm scared that this product is going to be too small. That is my issue. As you can see, compared to my other one, because my other one is starting to break, so I need a new one. But it looks pretty small, which I'm slightly disappointed with, but... I have no idea if this is going to fit or not. No, it's literally not fitting. Why the heck do you make a bag which does not fit a computer? Oh my god, I'm literally about to get... Are you actually serious? So what they've done with the bag is they have... This is so disappointing, honestly. I thought this bag was actually good. I literally thought this was a good bag, but then I realized that it was so small. Why? How am I supposed to use this damn bag? Literally, how? I'm gonna have to give this back. It's not worth buying a bag which can't fit what I need. Oh, and I would, and I thought that this bag was worth it. I literally did because it looks so great. So this is the bag. This is the computer. Do you see the issue? Do you see the mother freaking issue? Like, even if the bag... So, I'm going to show you what I mean. So, even if the bag... As you can see here, even if the bag... So, this thing kind of makes it so that it's, like, crimped together. So, even if the bag were to be, like, more out, it would still not have space because the computer is bigger than the bag. So, if you look at my bag... Okay, so it's pretty... It's kind of big, to be honest. But, like, if you look here... The bag literally has it's about to fall off that's an issue and i've they have do you see the thing here that is they have done this because it broke once and now i have to go back and ask them to fix it again so the issue is do i look for a new bag and get it fixed or do i ask them to fix it because i don't want to go there and ask them to fix it and then they say no there's no point fixing it i mean the, this bag is worth 40 dollars so you because it probably costs them to fix it like the people who have to fix it they obviously get paid you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna have to go look for another bag i mean i love the bag i have now the only issue is it's way too like it's from zara i can't really expect it to be good oh Anyways, sorry for leaving this video on a bad note, but like it's really frustrating. So I really thought the bag was actually going to be good and it's really disappointing to see it. So I'm going to have to give it back. I might buy a new bag because I did see some other bags on Zalando. Um, so yeah, otherwise I'll buy one from Zara. But Zara has like these small bags and I'm not going to buy them. Like. The thing which is good about Zara is they either have small bags or they have big bags. They don't have like medium bags because no one, no one buys them. If you're going to have a medium bag, there's no point. Like there's no point. Either you have a small bag where you have a few things in or you have a big bag where you have everything in. Like it's so freaking stupid. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, I'm so sorry for leaving on a bad note. But I will update. I'm going this video. I'm not sure if it's going to go out on Saturday because um, I'm going to stream after this video, which I'm recording it right now. Uh, 6.53 my time on Saturday the 24th so I'm gonna stream in seven minutes so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to post this afterwards I'll probably will 
because I have to still record the videos and shit like that. But I will post this, I promise. But I'm, I can't promise that will be posted on Saturday. But yeah. If you didn't enjoy this video though, make sure to slap a like. Make sure to tell me what you bought. Make sure to tell me what you thought I should have bought instead of the things which I bought. What, like, what do you recommend? Like, what do you think was an unnecessary purchase? What do you think is like... Yeah, just give me your feedback about the video, basically. So if you did have a nice day, great. If you didn't, then I hope you do. And I will see you in the next video. And take care, guys. Bye.